Hey guys, it's me, Faces by Paciencia, and for those of you who do know not know who I am, I am a TV and special effects makeup artist and an aesthetics instructor. Uh, today, I want to go over five tips for your professional beauty business. Tip number one, YouTube makeup artistry is not the same makeup artistry that you will use as a professional makeup artist in the real world. What I mean by that is there are a lot of people who are extremely talented who do makeup on YouTube, primarily do makeup on themselves. Makeup artists who do this for a living, do this for a job, work in different type of makeup fields, and they also know how to do makeup on different ages, different races, different genders, and they understand the skin. So it's not the same type of makeup artistry. So if you are only following YouTube makeup artists to learn and discover how to become a makeup artist, you are not going in the right direction. You want to look for a professional makeup artist who does this for a living, who works on different people's skin, different skin tones, different skin colors, different skin types, and learn from those YouTube beauty professionals. Tip number two. Decide what kind of makeup artist you are going to be. There are bridal artists, there are print artists, there are television artists, special effects artists, moulage artists. There are so many different kind of artistry in general. You wanna make sure that you understand the different types of artistry, begin to discover what would be the area or the field that you wanna get into and study professional makeup artists that work as that particular artist that you are interested in. Tip number three. So you want to get started as a makeup artist, but you don't know where to begin. Well, the way to get started as a makeup artist is to get started as a makeup artist. It's one of those fields where you need hands-on experience in order to perfect your skill. Tip number four, makeup artistry, building a portfolio, becoming a full-time paid makeup artist takes time. There's nothing instant about it. So if you are just getting started and you do not have a job in the makeup artistry retail industry, I recommend you remain where you are and begin to build your field, build your portfolio, build your experiences on the weekends. Most weddings, most opportunities happen on the weekends. So if that is the type of artist that you want to be, then do not quit your job. Just know that building a rapport, having an understanding of people's skin, of faces. You can only learn this by actually having hands-on experience. And it takes time to build that. So if you were looking to be paid full-time as a makeup artist, it is not instant. Have another plan. Tip number five, learn color theory as a makeup artist. Color theory is a game changer. If you do not understand makeup uh, color theory from the perspective of a makeup artist, you are missing out. You will learn so much more about skin, about color tones, about what works best for eye colors. You will be a guru, a, a makeup ninja on any set. You will understand how to control the environment control the warmth, control the coolness for the camera. You can change things on the spot, on any television set, on any photography set, uh, on, on if like, for example, just underwater makeup. Like a lot of people don't think about that. You need to understand color theory to do aquatic makeup. Uh, aquatic, that was very foreign. Aquatic makeup. <laughs> Oh, my Panamanian came out. Yeah, so you need to have different uh, different understanding of how color theory works in the makeup world. It is an awesome thing. Um, if you are interested in taking a color theory class, I do have one online at creativebeautyacademy.com. I'll leave a link below. Make sure you guys check it out. But those are my five tips this week for beauty professionals, for enhancing and for furthering your beauty business. All right, guys, that's this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media, and I will see you next time. Bye.